think that everyone deserves a chance to connect with the environment. In disadvantaged communities, there are few places to learn about the beauty of nature. I am an environmental educator for F Child Project. F Child Project is a non-profit organization that works in disadvantaged primary schools and school teachers to introduce environmental education, health and practical life skills. I do the work I do because I see that so many children don't get to leave the township. I love to teach kids about worm farming because they get to interact with the small animals. The kids learn to treat animals with respect no matter how big or small. Through my worm farming classes, the kids learn about waste management but also how to make their own compost. I love to see their faces light up when they get to touch the earthworms. There are so many young South Africans excited to change the world and I'm very privileged and lucky that I get to do this. I'm studying a conversation in my community that will affect the rest of the world. My name is Yolam Kokwanam. I'm 11 years old and a climate change activist. People have become less sensitive to global warming because they aren't faced by reality yet. But where I'm from, this reality already exists. Some of the climate-related issues I see daily are people are polluting the air, and people are polluting the rivers and people are polluting the water. Change comes from the voice of many, but you need individuals to stand together to create a collective. My age does not mean my views on the world are not valid. I believe we are all accountable for what the future holds, regardless of age, race or gender. I'm marching, singing and shouting for my right to a livable future. We both feel passionately about this crisis because climate change hits poor communities first and worst. It also affects the most vulnerable and least able to adapt to frequent droughts and floods, especially women and young girls like me and Yola. We first learned words like global warming and environmental crisis when we joined Earth Child Project Eco Warrior Club earlier this year. Ms. Toldy told us Mother Earth is on fire and soon we might not have enough food and water. Without water, disease will spread and we all get sick. I'm sure we're all aware of May 2017, the lowest point our Western Cape dams have ever been. We had about 11% of drinkable water left. But in the midst of this water crisis, something really incredible happened. The mindset to save water became the new normal. Everyone felt the danger of day zero but everyone is not affected in the same way. Both me and Otembele live in Kailicha, which is a big township in Cape Town. I've already fetched water for my house from a communal tap. When we go to the bathroom, we use pee toilets. These are dangerous, they are not safe, and they're not clean. So I'm already living in this future that others fear. There are large numbers of people in Kailicha who do not have enough to eat. We do not have enough water and energy supply. Just a decade, 11 years to be exact, is all that still remains to stop the climate crisis. Where we stand here now, some people still do not see but us. We know because we have seen. We can make a positive impact when we work together. Climate crisis needs to be taken seriously. Our local communities need support so we can cope with more extreme weather patterns and events. We also need to spread awareness, especially in schools, to increase knowledge and build resilience. But most importantly, we need to look within. Me and Yola cannot wait till the day where environmental education is taught in every school. A day where each and every household and schools have their very own organic vegetable gardens. A day where every school and households have their very own tanks or borehole water supply and are all powered by renewable energy. And I really hope that all of you agree with me. 
We also need adults to work in shifting government policies to convince big companies to reduce emissions and to invest in climate solutions in variable local communities. It may take children like us to make people listen. It may take children like us to tell you we are living the future that you keep saying is coming. As youth, we came. Um, thank you.